You had you had a uh, one big catch for a touchdown. What happened on that play? Uh, just for like you know, we we got him into the position that we wanted him to be in, and they was in the coverage that we wanted him to be in. So I just really just won my one on one matchup. What impressed you with that with how uh, Talia handled himself today in the pocket and the huddle, running the offense, running the game? As I said before, you know, early on, just wanted to see what Talia can really just do with his offense once he got a full year on him. Like once he really just got the chance to really understand everything, and he really showed y'all what he can do. How is it like playing in front of fans, front of a packed crowd? Oh, it's always exciting having that 12th man, bringing that energy, you know, throw the, throw the opponent off here and there, and then just try to get some, you know, big energy to keep your team going forward. Easier or harder having so much help with having Jay Sean back out there, having Rock, yourself. Uh, do, do you guys think you're hard to cover? Oh, yeah, always going to be hard to cover. But like I said, you know, during the week, that's what we, you know, put in that grind time. Saturdays are always going to be easy. Fourth quarter, you guys were able to turn a pair of turn a pair of takeaways into touchdowns, and I think it, to end the game, you guys converted five of six third downs. Uh, just how huge was that to be able to get that push? Just be able to you know, you know, keep your offense on the field and keep the team, you know, going without even having to put your defense on the field. That's a big thing, and really just being able to turn that into points. And that's also a great thing. So just being able to convert on third down, that's a big part of your offense. When they were kind of shutting down the passing game just a little bit for you guys. How crucial was it for you know Isaiah Jacobs and Tam to step up like that? Oh, yeah. It's, it's very, very, very great. You know, in the game, we just came into it just saying we're going to run the ball. You know, that's a, the that's a thing we had. had we saying, uh, like, we're going to run the ball, make them stop the run, and then when they come down on the run, we're going to throw the ball. So having uh, Tayon and uh, uh, <laughs> uh, um, four, you know, having them back there with us, you know, just, it's just keeping them, keep the thing rolling. Uh, do you think the uniforms are good? Oh, I love them. <laughs> As somebody under 50, you like? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's always great to put that turp on. You know, you know you're know, doing it for a lot of people who did it before you, so I'm just great I get to wear it. What uh, flipped for you guys at halftime? You guys had like four consecutive drives where there's really nothing, then the field goal. So what was the message going into the locker room? Really just to, you know, keep pushing. You know, we felt like, you know, we were kind of beating ourselves a little bit with some of the mistakes we were having. So we just really just locked in and really started to, you know, not beat ourselves anymore. With everything that's happened to this program the last few years, how huge was it to come out, play a team that you guys regionally have played previously but haven't played in a while? And, come out with a great effort like you guys have. You no, know, it's always great to get that team win. And of course, you know, for talking to us all week, Coach Locke was telling us that out of the last 10 matchups, they won the last nine. So we really were just coming into this game, just trying to play how we played every other game. And, you know, we got the win. How hyped were you after that Jacoy and Ben interception? Oh, you know, so yeah, I was very hyped. You know, JB's that type of guy who's always been scrappy. And I'm just great to see him be able to get a turnover. Does he get to cover you in practice? Oh, a lot. You know, we go out there all the time. <laughs> Who gets the better of each other more? Nah, I'm not going to speak on that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you describe the feeling walking down the field knowing that, you know, you have nine seconds left or you're going to a kneel down with the crowd cheering? I'm sure that's what everybody dreams about. Yeah, victory formation, I feel like that's the best formation in football. You feel me? So when, once you do that and you can end the game with your offense on the field, you feel like you, you've done your job. And just tracking back to last season, you know, five straight games with touchdowns for you. What's that like to be able to come into your senior year and continue that? Uh, to be honest, I, I really wasn't really paying much attention. You know, that's something like I, I know if I put in the hard work, the accolades will come. So I feel like I just keep my head down, keep what I'm doing, and who knows what I can do. As a, go ahead. Say, Dante, I noticed you're wearing Will, Will Likely's four athletic as fuck pants. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to have a bunch of those guys back here supporting you guys? Oh, just to always have that support around, like, old church coming back and really showing you the way and showing you how they got through it. You know, I always got to support support them how they support me. Where do you feel like the offense can improve from from here? Uh, just, you know, just being disciplined, not having too many penalties and stuff like that. Just can't beat ourselves. I feel like our offense moves well and we have big plays. So cancel down our, you know, mistakes and penalties and we'll be a great offense. Y'all good? Thank you. Yep. All right.